two sticks with the ball and then you've got to chuck it to the other person with the sticks and the ball and then you've got to try and stick the ball everywhere with the sticks. I suppose that's why it's a stick ball. <laughs> they made up this game called stick ball. Um, basically all I know about it is that like they use sticks and a ball and it's like balancing and there's a lot to do with um, the actual energy of what you're doing too and sharing I think that's it over there, but I'm not sure. Where? Over there. Um, I think they, um, they're not allowed to t keep hold it for long, or they're not allowed to touch it with their hands, or something like that. I'm not sure. And they use sticks <laughs> and a ball. <laughs> I like watching it, though. It's, it's lovely to watch, you know, especially if you're, you're good at it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a difficult question. It shouldn't be so difficult, but it's a difficult question. Uh, you know, it's got a ball and stick, and you mount, balance the ball and stick, and you. <laughs> Could be like a mixture of dancing, a mixture of. Kind of like hacky sack, kind of some sort of slightly martial arty kind of thing with the giving and the taking, um, improvising. Definitely like an expression type thing, which is uh, where it's not necessarily competitive. As a musician, I can say similar to in a jam where you've got a group of people working on a definite pulse and that pulse is, has an infinite amount of time, I guess, in a sense, in the way the mind works in a jam, but it's, it's all happening now. It has a few elements, one being where one can rest with the ball and follow the ball as it moves or one can be active and make the ball move the direction one wants to. Um, one day I might have a personal goal to simply balance the ball for indefinite periods of time, other times to simply play of course, other times to do I guess some sort of a stunt. Um, often though I find to simply keep the ball in play I really do enjoy moving with the spin and using the axis of the spin because once this happens uh, it's, it is a really fine balance but it also becomes very natural at this point and playing with other players becomes uh, an extension of the way the ball wants to move. With the nature of the game itself, it's open to anyone to come along and play. We play mostly around West End. Um, one of the earliest places we've ever played is Davies Park on the West End River. The cultural diversity of West End has been a very important part of the um, creation or um, invention of the game. to have been seen playing through most streets around West End and also South Bank Piazza has been a common place of play. Philosophies, I guess, helped unravel technicalities of play. Martial arts helped influence form and uh, music, dance, definitely the greatest part of stickball being the spirit influenced this area. People could sit and watch and be mesmerised and have incredible reactions and 
be compelled to talk to us and say that this has been a most incredible experience to simply watch. I guess my favourite reaction is observing kids, because kids just go with it. They know how to play. Um, I think playing stickball one can actually play with time itself and actually see it happening. Because we come from West End community, basically. Um, a lot of people know what it is and know about it because they've seen us playing on the streets or they've seen us playing at the West End Festival. Um, and so, ideally, I hope it enriches the community because it adds another element to it. Personally, I can see it as being a great example of a way of peace for the world to uh, relate to because it has a lot of elements in it and it's working together with other people. Um, there is a lot of things going on in a simple game of stickball.